Hi, my name is Nathan Samuel and I'm the Youth Hub's coordinator at Churchill Gardens Youth Project and I'm the Youth Project and I currently work for Future Men. I think I was a rebellious teenager that enjoyed youth clubs, enjoyed my time with youth workers. So as I became an adult, it was an easy pick of a job for me. Like I knew this was the, the, the route I wanted to go. So I started youth work on an access to youth work course. And um, funny enough, uh, it was through a youth club that I used to go to, they were offering an opportunity to, for the young people that used to come there to get into youth work and they took us away and got us on a youth access course. And then I just took every training that came my way after that. And as soon as I was in, I was it, I never left. <laughs> So any time I've been looking for a new job with youth work, I've probably checked the local government websites first to see what any ch jobs are going, working with young people. And then um, I do a Google search and find out if there's any local charities that are offering opportunities to. So mainly it's all internet based. And you know, as you work for the years, you make a lot of friends in this line of work and you hear about a lot of jobs from word of mouth. I think contact helps, you know, it always helps when someone you have a rapport with are uh, able to, to, to recommend you and know that you're good at what you do. But the proof is always in the pudding, I say, if, you, if, if you're good at what you do and you, sh and you, you show people that you're good at it and go to an interview and tell people what you've what you've been up to and you've got it all on your CV, most most people will take you. If As long as you know how to talk in interviews, most people will take you on board. So now that I'm a coordinator, I'm not so much on the field, I'd say like doing what the most youth workers do, I'm more overseeing what youth workers are, are doing and helping them with any projects they want to get done and helping projects that are requested from the young people and just making sure that we have a good balance of uh, work, working experience and conversations and everything that the young people need just to make sure there's a good balance in youth clubs. The line of work we do is, is a very rewarding job. It's not good, you're not going to get a big million pound check but being able to help young people, or meeting young people at one point and able to get them to another point that they want to get to is so rewarding. Like in my years, I've probably helped hundreds of young people. And when they grow up and they see you and they like remember you and they're like, hey Nathan, remember me? That's the rewards of this job for me, you know? And seeing young people go and achieve their full potential, that is definitely the rewards for me. Applications for, for management roles are, are long-winded, but when you have a lot of working experience and you know what you're doing in your field, the, 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 job, the, the applications are really easy because they're really like straightforward questions. I think you having good interviewing skills, you know, being confident, being sure of yourself that you know what you're doing in your role. That would always in, impress anybody that's giving you an interview, you know, just the confidence of you know what you're doing and being able to explain all the things you've done before that pop that day. My CV, I just be very honest and I keep it honest but minimal. I, I, I don't try to send two three page CVs most employers don't want to see that. They don't want to. They don't want to see that. So I keep it minimum but effective. So I make sure all the key points are in there, all the key things I've done, and um, yeah, just honesty because it will come back to bite you. Standing out in an interview is just being yourself and um, 
never trying to be anything else than that. Given your, whoever's giving you the interview, you need to give them the best representation of yourself. So that doesn't mean lie, it means just be nice, be pleasant, be have manners, you know, the simple things in life. It's what people pick up on. So like volunteering as well, a lot of people start that way. I started that way, volunteering and getting experience by volunteering with young people and all the project projects that are going on. You want to learn everything from the ground up. Advice I'd give to them is if you want to help your community, if you want to help young people, this is the place to be. This is, it gives you such a free range of ways to help young people. You know, we're not teachers, so young people are going to tell us things that they're not going to tell their parents, they're not going to tell their teachers. And we're able to help with the middle ground, the bits that people don't know about, you know. And we will always do what's best for that young people. So if you're definitely into helping your community and helping young people, this is definitely a job for you.